everybody today I'm going to show you how to easily figure out fractions you're going to need to do this you're going to need one two three Hershey kisses and I can see as it got cut the tops off because that way they're easier to cut with a butter knife adult supervision required so first move these to the side I'm going to take this Hershey tip kiss I'm going to cut it in half. Oops. Yeah, see what I mean? This is why it would be easier without the top, so that's why I cut it off. Cut it in half. These are like mint ones, that's why you have green inside. So I cut it in half. This is one half. And as you can tell, by when I'm saying one half, we're working with fractions today. Then I'm going to cut the halves in halves to make fourths. So they're supposed to be equal, but this is really hard to hold the camera with one hand and cut them with the other, so. And this might get a little messy. So, I'm gonna take our pieces, move them over a little bit. Take. So now you can see that we have fours. Now if you take two of these, you can see that there's, so if, you, if I were to give this to my friend, Okay, here's one for you. Here's one for me. Here's one for you. And here's one for me. If I were to divide it like that, you can tell that each of us get two pieces. If you put these two together, it would equal one half. So therefore, two fourths is equivalent to one half. So the fractions one fourth and one half are equal to each other. They are called equivalent fractions. Just like if you had four eights, that four plus four equals eight. So therefore, four eighths is 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 equivalent to one half. Now put these pieces to the side. Left my workstation. I'll get a new one like this. Now I'm going to cut it. In half. Like that. Move one half to the side. So we have one half. I'm going to grab another one of these. Third one. And I'm going to cut it again into fourths. Actually, I'm going to cut it into eighths. So cut the halves in half. And cut those also in half. No, let's just stick with fours because these are kind of getting really small. And I don't think I can cut that in half again. So we have fours. So we're going to take one half and three fourths. Which one's bigger? One half or three fourths? If we know that one half is equal to two fourths, is one half bigger than three fourths or smaller? I'll give you time to answer. If you guess three fourths is bigger than one half, you are correct because this equals one half. If I add one more, that's more than a half. See, if I put this in front of here, you know these are equal. But if you put this guy here, it is not equal because this is bigger than that. Let's say, bring back my fourths from earlier. Now we have eight. These are eight pieces here. You see them here? Is one half... Bigger or smaller than four eighths? I'll give you time to answer that question. If you guess they are equal, you are correct. Because one half 
we said before, is 4 plus 4. So if we do 4 plus 4, it equals 8. So that means 4 is half of 8. So 4 eighths is equivalent to 1 half. Which one is bigger? 1 half or 1, 2, 3 eighths? I'll give you time to think about it. If you said that 3 eighths is smaller than 1 half, so 1 half is bigger than these three, you are correct. So at home, you, if you guys want to, you can go ahead and use Hershey Kisses for math because they are fun and easy to do math with and very delicious. Mmm, I love Hershey math. So we had four eights here, over here, and I 